Hello again, Chess Hoodie here. I wanted to show you how I lost in five moves on chess.com. It was a rapid game. I was black. Uh, my opponent was uh, around 2200 on chess.com and his username is Grimzovic. I also noticed that we are friends on chess.com but I forgot how we uh, came to be friends. And anyway, let's see the game. So he started with e4. I replied e5 and then came the first surprise. He played d3. So I thought, okay, he's going for some modest setup. Let me just develop. But then came the second surprise. He played f4. And my first instinct was to go d5. But somehow I couldn't figure out what was happening here. So I tried to find another solution. Uh, upon finishing the game, I checked d5 is fine, but it's complicated. So here I got a little bit creative. I decided to play in sacrificial style with bishop c5. He took some time, he took my pawn, and now I unleashed my idea. Uh, and this is not a good idea, but it works in case of uh, capturing the knight then queen h4 check and you can i will not show all the lines you can analyze very interesting position unclear i'm down a piece but uh, i get uh, some initiative uh, because of uh, white's king and uh, other moves uh, normal moves are uh, not really good unless they attack something because i am threatening uh, knight f2 here but there is a good move here and after some thinking, Grimzovich found it. He played queen g4. And I totally missed this move. And now I realized that I am in big trouble. And actually, I am lost here. But I was trying to find uh, some way uh, to fight, to pose some problems. And I was calculating different options. Uh, knight here, I figure out it doesn't work. Uh, Bishop check, I figured out it doesn't work. Uh, castling doesn't work. F5 doesn't work. And then D5 came to mind. But I was just thinking about all this. And now it gets really complicated. And White is winning, but he has a narrow path to win. And I was calculating, calculating. And what happened? I was thinking, thinking for about seven minutes. And then a pop-up came warning me that the game will auto resign why i don't know it's some chess.com rule perhaps they don't want people to waste time but if you're playing a 15 minutes game game i think i'm allowed to think for seven minutes or i don't know if it was seven minutes and 30 seconds or exactly but roughly seven, because i had 12 minutes and when it was five minutes something the warning came and just when I was in the middle of calculating, and I will show you what was I calculating. I was calculating queen g7, queen h4. Here, white has only one move, but I found that move. But now it gets tricky and you need time to figure all this out. So after this check, he can go either to d1 or to e2, but only king d1 is winning. Uh, king e2, I can save myself. So I'm not going to show all the lines. It's not the point of this video. The point is, uh, why does chess.com have a rule to forfeit you if you took 7 minutes or 7 minutes 30 seconds? So I'm not allowed to spend that much time thinking in a complicated position. Yes, I was lost. I wasn't sure when I, I felt that I was lost and computer confirmed. But I tried to somehow prolong the struggle and then just when I was in the depth of calculation pop-up came warning me that I will lose and I didn't know if uh, what will happen so I closed the pop-up I thought okay I reacted so the chess.com chess should know I, I am there I'm thinking and BAM! <laughs> they forfeited me after a few seconds so that's just one of the reasons why chess.com chess is really a bullshit website, in my opinion. 
I have other reasons, but I'll talk about them in other videos. So, well played, uh, Grimzovic. You deserve the win, but uh, I don't know. People at chess.com, I don't know. They shouldn't be proud of how they made their website. That's what I think. Anyways, this is how I lost in five moves. And uh, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.